Good morning, friends. I'm Reverend Roger Peltier, Assistant Minister here at First Unitarian, where we love beyond belief. Each Sunday, we like to share our joys and concerns in beloved community, in a community of memory and hope. If you would like to participate, you may do so by sending an email before 12 noon on any Saturday to the email address pastoralcare at firstunitarianprov.org. We begin with a candle of joy. Two weeks ago on Mother's Day, Temple Fawcett turned a spry 93 years old and she was greeted with people singing happy birthday on her sidewalk while they were standing six feet apart, of course. Thank you to Alyssa Emerson for organizing. A candle of remembrance for my father, Emil John Lovekey, on the 25th anniversary of his death. Dad, it seems like yesterday that you sat me on your shoulders so I could reach the sky with all my love. A candle of remembrance for my father who died 18 years ago today at the age of 88. He was a veteran of World War II, having served four years in the Navy Medical Corps both in North Africa and the Pacific. A candle of remembrance. Dear Andre, on this five year anniversary of your passing, I enjoy peeking out the kitchen sink window and seeing your face in the light of your summer lanterns all lit up in the backyard. And in the winter, you are smiling at your backyard bushes, heavy with Christmas lights. Thank you, dear one, for lighting up our lives. This is a candle for hope and healing. Kelly Smith has learned this week that her tumor is growing again. Please send your thoughts and prayers her way as she explores treatment options. A candle for health. I'm hoping for good news after my daughter's COVID test two days ago. A candle of healing for the recovery of my sister-in-law, Cindy, and for the recovery of Paul Shea. And finally, a candle of deep gratitude. Beth Anturney wishes to thank everyone for their good wishes and constant care to her. Friends, may the light of love and hope and healing shine on you now and in the time of your need. Amen. Our meditation this morning is going to come from Mary Oliver's Summer Day. On this Memorial Day weekend, let us pause to remember the remedy for dying is honorable living. I don't exactly know what prayer is, but I do know how to pay attention, how to fall down into the grass, how to kneel into the grass, how to be idle and blessed, how to stroll through the fields, which is what I've been doing all day. Tell me, what else should I have done? Doesn't everything die at last and too soon? 
Tell me, what is it you plan to do with your one wild and precious life? Amen. Until we meet again, my friends, carry the flame. Peace.